Hello, my comrades in quarantine. If you find yourself feeling cagey, irritable, ragey, aggressive, trapped, stuck, helpless, frustrated, confused, uncertain, foggy, depressed, spacey, or generally immobilized, you can fix it with five minutes of science, which I am going to demonstrate. I'm going to perform a super quick and simple neuroscience-based technique called somatic experiencing that you can do at home. It takes, I don't know, maybe five or ten minutes. Um, disclaimer, I'm neither a scientist nor a doctor, but I paid nearly $400 to learn this from a trauma therapist. So act now because this video is free and it should be. Um, basics, you're an animal. The amygdala, the part of your brain that responds to danger is prehistoric. It's pretty primal and it only has three movement based reflexes, fight, flight, or freeze. So here we are facing this potentially deadly threat, the coronavirus. We have no tools to kill it. Um, which would be fight. We have um, no tools to flee from it because we can't even detect it with our five senses. And that only leaves one option, which is freeze, um, play dead, um, hide, shelter in place. So in nature, usually this freeze state doesn't last very long, right? A deer in headlights, once you turn off the headlights, it uh, runs away. A possum that's playing dead, once the danger has passed, it gets up and it goes on its merry way. But being pent up at home for a long period of time simulates being a caged animal or being a helpless animal that cannot defend itself. And that state of helplessness can actually become pathological. It can affect our mental health in really negative ways. So this technique, somatic experiencing, it actually communicates to the amygdala, it tricks the amygdala into thinking that um, the threat, the danger of threat has been overcome and that you've dominated it. And it's surprising, but it really works. You don't really have to talk. You just have to do this little um, physiological technique. So step one um, is to find a place where you're safe, where no one can hear you or see you, where you're not going to feel self-conscious or scare anybody. Um, and you're going to get comfortable. Tune into your body. <sighs> do a head-to-toe check just to notice everything that your body is feeling, all the sensations. Once you have adjusted and rectified any actual physical discomfort that's caused by your position, you can tune into any um, emotional discomfort that you might feel in your body, manifested in some kind of sensation. You know, a stiff neck, a constricted throat, um, a tight chest, a knot in your stomach, a pit in your stomach, butterflies, anything like that. I feel kind of tingling and heat and butterflies in my stomach and in my chest, so I've noticed it. Um, that's step two. Step three is to just stay with that sensation without um, resisting it or without trying to avoid or distract yourself from it. Don't quit. It's going to get stronger and bigger. It's going to be going to become more intense and more powerful as you sit with it quietly. It's gonna to get to the point where it's really annoying or unbearable. The tingling is making me want to do something, okay? So that's the next step, step four, is allow your body to do whatever weird, wild, crazy, nonsensical thing it wants to do. It has to be movement-based. Remember your amygdala is really simple and prehistoric. My body wants to jump up and flap around like I'm nuts and scream. So I'm gonna do that right now. <laughs> okay, then I started to laugh. Um, that's an emotional breakthrough, right? And it seems crazy. But it actually is super powerful because your amygdala is not really smart. And it only takes a few minutes. You can do it as many times a day or week as you need to. I hope this is helpful. Okay, bye.